Hey everyone, it's Admiral Seabass. Welcome to Operation Killing Fields, turn 5.1. Just a spot of housekeeping at the start. Um, Captain G uh, tried to send military aid here to Indonesia. Problem is, you can't do that. They have a cooperation treaty. See that little handshake here? That means cooperation treaty. You have to have a defense treaty with a miner to send them military aid. So we undid that and added two back to IPP back to his dashboard. Okay, so next will be uh, tech. So I'm going for computers, advanced SLBMs, advanced sonar top gun, and advanced manufacturing. All right, Captain G likes to say, let's put these in the randomizer here. See what our uh, communist scientists are up to. Well, that's not very good. <laughs> I did hit computers, and I think 12, I hit top gun, but I missed all of the others. Yep, so, communism never pays, folks. So, I did hit computers, which will give me a plus one bonus this turn for being at stage two. And I did do Top Gun, which will put me at stage three. So not the, I guess not the worst, but okay. So let's talk purchase. So in addition to my cruise missiles, which are here, I had 27 IPP to spend. And I spending six on a minor airbase upgrade, two on a paramilitary, three on a light infantry, 12 on three MBTs and three on a SAM that should equal up to 27. Okay, let's get into combat movement. So we have a lot. We are declaring war on Indonesia. So let's do that first. So actually, no, let's start up here because that's the order I have them listed in. We are declaring war on China. So we will start up here and cover those combat movements. So first I need a spot of coffee. All right. So in Northern Manchuria here, it's three paramilitary defending. We're moving in two max, or I'm sorry, two artillery four next-gen MBTs, one mech from Amur, and then from Vladivostok here, two attack helicopters will go one, two. They'll have one eligible move remaining. Fighter will go one, two, and he will have three remaining. And they, that's the attack into northern Manchuria. Okay? Then in central Manchuria... We will take in, um, oh, I forgot to, I already aligned Mongolia here, just, and I already moved myself up uh, from 15 to 16 base IPP for that. I forgot to swap out the Mongolian light infantry. Like this. And then I'll need another one here, because I have to take, I'm going to split these guys up in terms of where they're attacking. So one light infantry from Dornagabi will come in here to central Manchuria where there are also three paramilitary. And then one SU-25 from Vladivostok. Three SAMs from Vladivostok. One MBT and one artillery from Amur. And I forgot to say, I'm using chem here and here. And then the other artillery from Amur will come down here into central Manchuria as well. And then the next gen MBTs and uh, possibly the mech. And the uh, fighters and the attack helicopters will blitz from northern Manchuria down. 
Then into southern Manchuria, I'm taking everything else that's here in Tornagabi. So that's three mechs, five MBTs, one light infantry, and one SAM. And they are crossing a desert border here to get in there. Also, river border being crossed here in Manchuria, uh, in both of the Manchurias, so we'll have to remember that. On the Beijing Minor Army Base here, can you see that? Yep, sure can. Firing one cruise missile from the major air base, which uh, from a major air base you get plus one. So he's going to go one, two, three, and do a facility strike on that major army base. Okay. Then. Oh boy. Okay. So. Oh boy, I just realized a problem in my attack list. So I'm going to keep this the same, guys, and I'm going to have to alter my attack down on Indonesia because I messed up. And we had a, I sent an attack list, we had a big discussion about one of my attacks, and then decided I was um, mistaken about one rule. So we redid the attacks and then I forgot to redo everything. Um, so. Hmm. Guys, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to pause and think through this. All right, it's all good, guys. Uh, just my cruisers here in P-45 are each going to fire one cruise missile each. They're going to stay in P-45. Fire one cruise missile each, and it's going to go one to P-36 and two into Guangxi and do that facility strike on the major army base there. I did have them going up here to P-38, I just kept them in P-45, and that also means that one of these cruisers now cannot be used um, in the shore bombardment um, in P-52, so no, no harm, no foul. Okay, so let's keep going. Then... The TU-22M that's here in South Vietnam is going to go 1, 2, 3 to P-28. Where he's going to fire two of his special KH-22 anti-ship missiles into the ship's in port there in P-28. And we're also going to use our spy satellite in that particular port attack. Now he's gonna be escorted by the fighter from South Vietnam. He's gonna go one, two. And the one of the two Yak 38s from P45 also gonna go one, two. Ozark has decided not to scramble, so we're all good there. All right, next attack. P-52, which is right here. Indonesia has a frigate. This is neat. They uh, they actually use the uh, Type 121 Leanders. Um, I don't have any decals for Indonesia yet, so I just put it on a that Leander on a Indonesia roundel. So the screening force for the amphibious assault force is going to be one P-700 fired from the battle cruiser, and I'll just put it here to denote that it fired. That P-700 is fi fired in, and then there's going to be a frigate and a destroyer coming out of P-45 into the screening force as well. Okay, and then the moving force will be the amphibious assault ship, which is coming out of P-45. Put them on the, this card is going to be the moving force. He's picking up two Marines from Singapore. 
and one air cav from Thailand. The attack helicopter from Singapore is going to go one, is going to go, oh, wait a minute. Okay, reverse that. Um, the air cab is not going to load on um, the amphibious assault ship. It instead is just going to go one to P-45 and one into Borneo. The attack helicopter will load on because he can't make it otherwise. I miscalculated, guys, uh, in terms of that movement. So he'll be going into here, and now I have no shore bombardment to support, unfortunately. And I don't think there's anything else I can get in there. So Jakarta might be might be a little ill-advised at this point, but we're going to carry on. Let's see if there's anything else I can get in there to help. I don't think there is because the Yak is also going from P-45 into Borneo, into that attack. And by the way, there's a there should be a paramilitary in there. Let me grab that. Like that. And then the two naval attack bombers from... Um, South Vietnam are going into Borneo. And then I think that's it. Oh, the Yak 38 from. Oh, yeah, I already got it there. Okay. So Jakarta is looking a little light now, depending on what happens, but we'll see. But that, hey, that, it's my bad. So, all good. And then the last attack is out here in P-52. So there is a Tu-142 Bear F in South Vietnam. It's going to go P-45, P-37, P-46, P-57, P-58. It's going to join this attack. And then it's going to have uh, four movement points remaining. Um, the SSGN from P-58 is coming back to P-57 and will be joined by this P SSGN from P-56. They will collectively fire three P-700s. grab somewhere you know what, I'm just gonna have to grab it off my dashboard and remember to build one just so we're all square I'm reflecting that seven p700s are left on my dashboard right now and I should build one and have eight at the end of this turn so those will go in this nuclear sub will come off silent running he'll attack these pack forces the nuclear attack sub and both diesel electrics from P-56 will both come in and also join in this attack on that fleet. Okay, and I think that is it. Okay, let's roll some dice. So, get some more coffee first. All right. So let's just start up here in, well, you know what, I'm going to start here and see how bad <laughs> this goes before anything. So in Borneo here, there's a paramilitary that Captain G has defending. I've got two naval attack bombers, which attack at seven, the Yak at a four, 
and the air cav at a four also. So I've got two sevens and two fours against his two. So let's see what happens. We will count red dice as my sevens. And we will count green dice as my fours. And I should say four. And then we will count the yellow dice as his two. So two sevens, two fours for me, and the yellow is for him, and I will just put that paramilitary there to show, like this, to show that, that is his. All right. And I got you. So both my yak, uh, both my fours hit, my air cav hit, my yak hit, and one of my two naval attack bombers hit, and his paramilitary did indeed miss. Okay, so let's reflect what just happened. So Borneo will go FEC and we will move base income from 16 to 17. Okay, let's do the screening force battle here. So I've got one P700, it gets first strike. I've got a destroyer at four, and I've got a frigate at two against his frigate at two. So the P700 is at six, so let's just roll that first at a six or less, and if I hit, the battle's over. That's a two, so battle is over. And he does not get a fire back. So, then, my moving force will land, and that's an attack helicopter and two marines. And this is jungle and mountain, so neither one impacts the attack helicopter. Um, a mountain impacts the marines, so they would... Uh, be normally attacking at a two, but they'll get bumped back up to a three by the attack helicopter. So I have two threes and a six versus a four and a six, and he is going air superiority on round one. So if he gets a hit with his fighter, he will kill my attack helicopter. All right. But first, let's roll my two threes and my six. All right. Oh, good. There's two hits. Woo! Okay. So, my one of my Marines hit, and my attack helicopter hit. All right. So now let's roll his four and his six. So I will take Jakarta, but what will the damage be? Uh, okay, so I'm going to lose my attack helicopter because his... Fighter hit, but his light infantry miss. So, whoo. Okay. Bad planning there, but got bailed out. I still had the pips, you know, but that just felt a little wrong. So, his two will die. And I'll lose my attack helicopter. And I will take Jakarta with two Marines. And then I'll go from 17 to 18 in base income. And now that Borneo and Jakarta are both possessed by me, the rest of Indonesia will surrender to me. So I put all those there like that. Okay. And I'll put my amphibious assault ship here just as a reminder that it's still there. Okay. Woo. That was a little, little dicey. Okay. So let's do this battle down here. So this is... A TU-142 Bear F, which attacks at a 4. Three P-700s, first strike at a 6. Two nuke boats at a 4. Two diesel electric subs at a 4. Against a destroyer. Uh, a um, ASW helicopter. So the destroyer will defend at a 4, but any of these hit, and the destroyer will be gone. Uh, and then the two nuke subs will silent run if they can. 
but if I get enough hits and kill them, any that that um, would die anyway will return fire. So let's show what's going to happen here. So let's do the three sixes first, and I will just grab three dice, and any six or less will kill the destroyer. How about a nine, an eleven, and an eight? Wow. You lucked out, Captain G, big time. Okay. So, now I've got every, see, I've got three fours. So, not using those red dice again. The bear is at a four. The two nuke subs are at a four. And this is regular combat, so there is going to be target select. And then I've got the two... Diesel subs at threes. And uh, Captain G, I'll do the best with your target select. I didn't call that out, unfortunately, in the group chat. So, um, Okay, so let's see what I get. Uh, that is a complete whiff. Wow. Okay, well, let's see what the damage is before I retreat. I mean, the only way I don't retreat here is... I mean, this is just astonishing. <laughs> <laughs> the only way I don't retreat here is if you don't get any hits, but even then I might. Um, okay, so he has two fours himself. Actually, uh, yeah, I have no surface units, so I do need to roll his subs separately because it has, or his destroyer separately because it has a sub target select, and I assume he would take one of my nuke boats. And then the attack helicopter is at a two. Okay, let's see what you get, Captain G. How about four hits? One, two, three, four. Boy, I'm going to tell you, this is Knights Templar level luck for you here, Captain G. So I have to take four hits. Your destroyer, let's see. Your destroyer not only got a hit, it got a target select hit. So you would, I assume, with that, would take one of my nuke subs. So that clears that hit. Um, and then your ASW... So now I have three more hits and they all have to be on the subs. Um, because your destroyer hit could, was the only one that could hit here. So, yeah, I'm retreating my bear foxtrot for sure. Um, and he'll go back to Philippines. To quote, uh, yeah, to quote our good friend Cade, complete disaster. Okay, now let's keep going. So let's see what happens down here. Let's do these uh, facility strikes. So China has no AMD, so in Guangxi, it's two cruise missiles just rolling damage, and since I'm at stage four of tech, or of uh, Kim Warfare tech, I get plus one to both of these. So I'll explain how these work. Okay, so four, I'm, I'm technically rolling D2s, so on a D2, when you roll a six-sided dice, four, five, and six means two, and one, two, and three means one. So... This is one from the missile plus one for Kim, so that's two, and that's two for the missile plus one for Kim, so that's a total of five damage. So I'll grab a damage marker. And Ozark, you got five damage there on your major army base. Now you see here, um, that's a port strike, and he has these ships in port. That's an amphibious assault ship and two missile boats. And the two, and he again, he has no AMD, so this is just a straight roll. And it's the KH-22s are at two or less. So I'll just grab two dice, or sorry, they're at seven or less. So I will just grab two dice here and roll them. And that's two hits. So since I used a spy sat, 
I'll take his amphibious assault ship and then have to take one of his missile control boats. All right. Now, uh, let's go up here. And again, I think we can do almost all these without. So up here with Kim, I get a roll double dice for my artillery. He's got three paramilitary. So again, I got two artillery first strike, two attack helicopters, a fighter, and four next gens, and a mech. So let me see what I can get with my artillery. So this is three at, or sorry, this is four dice at three. Right, chemical. Oh, excellent. Oh, well, that's the battle. Well, no, actually, no, it's not. So the first hit causes chem disruption. So that's taken away. These two hits eliminate a paramilitary each. So, Ozark, you're probably like, why couldn't I get the kind of look Anthony had down in P-52 or wherever that is. P-58. Okay. So he has one paramilitary left, and with chem disruption, it's defending at a one instead of a two. So let me just roll my four next gens at six. Actually, technically, I think they're across a river, so they're at five, but there's two hits. So Ozark, that ought to do it. And now you've got your paramilitary at a one. And that's a miss. Ooh, that's close. Okay. So, in this case, uh, the mech will blitz down. So I'll leave the two artillery there, and everything else will blitz down into central Manchuria. All right. Oh no, not the artillery. The artillery cannot blitz. They have to stay there. But the mech will come down. Okay. So similar battle here. Slightly different units. So I've still got two artillery with first strike. Um, and let me... So now with Northern Manchuria captured, I'm going to reflect a plus one bonus on my... Up here, guys. So... So, four artillery at three or less chemical first strike. Okay, so that's disruption. So, all of them will defend at minus one now instead of two. Okay, I've got the four next gens again. They're at a six. Okay, there's two hits. The two attack helicopters are at a six. Those are misses. The fighter's at a six. That's a hit. That's the three I needed. And then I've got an MBT at a four. It's another hit. Okay, that's the overkill I needed, Mike. So now you're going to roll back three paramilitary at ones. And you got one hit. All right. So... I will take as a casualty, so you lose your three PMs, flip that over, turn that to my dashboard, and I will take as a casualty the the mech. Okay. Now, down here, I do think I'm going to put this one on the battle board just for fun. This one's a little more even. There's going to be some retirement. So, let's do that. Let's see if I can... That's not too bad. You can't see the dice, though. All right. So, I've got three mechs crossing a desert border, so they'll be at two. Three, five MBTs, same thing. They'll be at three. I've got a SAM. And I've got a light infantry who'll be at one. Ozark in China. Three 
three mechs at five. Two Sams, first strike at twos, and three artillery, field artillery, at threes, first strike, and he is using chem. Okay, so now we assess retirement. So since neither side has air units, our SAMs retire. So we just move them back here to the retirement box. Okay, now we'll roll his first strike. So he's got three field artillery. And he gets six dice at three. So I don't think I moved myself up one in base income from 18 to 19 for taking Central Manchuria. All right, Ozark, see how you do here. Oh, you got one hit. Okay. So you got one hit, and with, chem with chemical attack or defense, the first hit always only can cause chemical disruption, but since the Soviets have stage one, or stage four of Kim Warfare Doctor, we're immune to that. So no no harm done there, at least to the Soviets. Okay, so now I have five threes, three twos, and a one. So let me try to set all those up. So let's use the blue dice for the threes. Let's use the red dice for... The twos, let's use this yellow dice for the one. Okay, here we go. I see one hit out of all that. One hit. Okay. And let me find his casualty order. Hang on a second. Okay, he will take a field artillery. So, Ozark, you got two of those left now. And now he gets to shoot with three mechs at five. So we will use those green dice. All right. The three mechs at five. No hits. Six, a ten, and a ten. Well, I think I dodged one there. Okay, so round two, the field artillery will come down to here. No more first strike. No more Kim for China. It's only round one. And then, since I'm across that desert border, I'm up at fours and threes and twos. Okay. So, let's just use that for the two. Let's use these for the three. Got three mechs. Where are all my red dice? And then the blues will all be fours now. Two, three, Four, five. All right, I'll roll all of mine and then I'll roll his. This is not being used for now. All right. Looks mildly better. Okay, so I got... That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. Miss, miss. All right. Got a hit with my mech. That's a general hit. I got a general hit. A four with the MBT and I got a target select. So what I will do is, so he said for his casualty order, so I will definitely hit the mech with the target select and then he'll take the two field artillery right there like that for the two general hits. Okay, so now he gets two dice at three for the field artillery. Captain G's gonna laugh at, laugh at me. I cannot tell these green and teal dice apart. And then he's got. Let's see. Running out of dice here. I ordered some more from Doug today at HPG. Oh, here we go. Fives. 
One, two, three, fives. All right, here we go. That looks not good for me. There's one hit with the field artillery. Seven's a miss, the eight's a miss. But he got three hits on me. So, all right, so what will I take? I'll take the light infantry and I'll actually take two MBT. No, I'll take two X. Okay, so his field artillery are gone. He's down to two mechs against five MBTs and one mech. So let me see if I can use these dice again. That's gone. I only get one mech, but I still have all five of my MBTs. Okay, one mech, five MBTs. Looking for two hits. And I got them. Barely. That was a miss. The yellow, the red was a miss. I have a bad habit of like turning over some of the dice sometimes. So, but there's the two hits I needed. Okay. And then he's got two mechs at a five. And he missed. Okay. So, oh, I still cannot believe what happened in P58. Honestly, I don't think, I, I haven't had that happen to me since Knights Templar rolled two ones in a strike in global 2025 and took out one of my carriers okay so i take southern manchuria and my base income now should be at 20. so yep okay so let's go to non-combat all right Woo, boy non-combat yeah um okay so I'm putting these two cruisers and the bow cruiser back on the card there because they stayed in P45. Okay. We're going to land the Yak from P28 back on the heavy aircraft cruiser. We're going to land the Yak from that fought in, in uh, Borneo back on the heavy aircraft cruiser. Um, I already landed the TU-142 back. Part of the shameful exercise. Um, the backfire will go back to South Vietnam. So the two naval attack bombers will also go back from Borneo to South Vietnam. The uh, ships here in Jakarta are going to go in port at the major port in Jakarta. All right, add an import marker there. Um, let's see. So... From P-45, I didn't move two destroyers and two frigates. So, I will send one frigate and one destroyer. We'll go P-54, P-55, and P-57 here where these SSGNs are. Okay. Yeah, this is uh this is unexpected. <laughs> um or should I not do that? Um, let me think. You know what? We'll just take the destroyer and we'll leave the frigate back in P45. Okay? 
then, all right, let me see my list here. Non combat movements. So there's a Sam in South Vietnam. He will sea lift one, two into the Philippines. Oh, you know what? This airborne was part of the Borneo assault. I forgot about him. I completely forgot to move him. So he's down in Borneo. Okay. The light infantry that's in Cambodia will also sea lift one, two to Philippines. And Philippines has a major port, so I can sea lift three things in there. And then I already landed the stuff back in South Vietnam. Okay. Okay. The ASW Hilo in P-36 is going to go back off of patrol and back onto the ASW carrier here in P-45. Same thing with this guy in P-37. I'm going to keep the P-52 and the P-54 ASW air patrols going. Um... And I think I need to land up here. I need to move a few things back up here. Oh, the fighter. Sorry. The fighter that was in P-28 is also going to land here in South Vietnam. Okay. So up here, the fighter is going to land back in Vladivostok. The tacky lows are going to stay there. They have to because it was their third move. And the SU-25 is going to stay there and loiter. That's a new special ability we have. You can stay in a land zone you just captured and loiter. So he's going to do that. Otherwise, I can't move anything there. So, um, I do think I will air... Re uh, no, I'll leave the air, air spirit fighter here in Vladivostok. Okay, let's place units. So, way out there in Uzbekistan, we're going to upgrade the minor air base to... Oh, I f darn it! Forgot to resolve that facility strike in Beijing. So again, no AMD, and this is a 1D2 plus a 1. So that's 2 plus 1 is 3 damage, Ozark, on your Beijing Major Army Base. So let me put a 3 marker there. Okay, so in Uzbekistan, we're upgrading the minor... Airbase to a major. We're also placing one light infantry there. All right. The um, the light infantry to Vietnam will get delivered to South Vietnam. That now gives me five light infantry there, guys. Okay. Um, the paramilitary will get built here in Thailand. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you could. It's right in the middle of the screen. And then the three MBTs and the SAM will get built here in Vladivostok. Okay, so collect income. Here's what I'm reflecting. So I'm at a base income of 20. My bonus income is 13. That means I'm at 33 with base plus wartime bonus. And then I need to, and that's eight for Southeast Asia, four for, um, Manchuria, so I get plus one, plus one, plus one, and then since I have all three, I get another plus one. Oh, shoot. These guys are supposed to move over to Dornagabi. 
So these are now FEC light infantry there in Dornagavi. Okay, and then I get plus one for computers, so that's 33 plus I get global support. So let's roll that. Oh, here's a oh boy, that's an 11. So that's 6. So 33 plus 6 is 39 IPP. Well, that's a small payback or small consolation prize for the absolute dicing Captain G gave me in P58. So there will be 50 or 39 IPP. And then I get the one. P700, the one regular anti-ship missile, the two cruise missiles, and the one KH-22. All right, this is Admiral Seabass signing off.